People call this manifestation, I just call it obvious. Here's something I wrote down. I'm gonna read it off my laptop right now for you, okay? Whatever you focus on is what you get in your reality. Well, duh. <laughs> um, so let's pretend. Let's imagine a scenario. I walk into a garden and the first thing I see is a very big, ugly, scary looking bug. Immediately, my body and my steps start, you know, recoiling, hesitating. I, I feel a little fearful. And as I'm walking, I avoid that bug and I continue to walk. I keep going and I keep looking out for more bugs as I walk through the garden and a part of me just can't wait to get out. Well, I'd actually walked into the garden to enjoy the sight of the flowers, to smell that freshness and the sweet scent. You know, that was the reason I had gone in, but by the time I was in the middle of the experience, right, I was so aware of the existence of bugs that I could barely take in the flowers. But guess what? The flowers were also there, along with the bugs. So this is what people called manifesting, but I just call it obvious, right? Whatever we choose to focus on, and sometimes it may not seem like it's a choice, right? But it is a choice. Anyway, whatever we choose to focus on, wherever our attention goes, and whatever we hold on to and we're not able to let go of, that is what grows and takes over our experience, especially if we hold on to it, okay? So instead, if I had seen that scary looking bug, avoided it and continued to walk on and I had let the bug go, you know, I breathed through it, let it go, if I had been able to let go of it, then I could have definitely enjoyed my experience in that beautiful garden with all the flowers and I wouldn't have noticed any other creepy crawlies. And similarly, if I had set my sights upon the flowers as soon as I entered the garden, then the bug would have just been like, oh, okay, and I would have just carried on walking. What was the experience I had actually wanted in the first place? I wanted the beauty, the joy, the smell, the delicacy of the flowers, didn't I? I didn't really want the fear that the bug created in me and the achiness of it. So the issue is people think that manifesting is just wanting. It's not. Wanting is not enough. Focusing on the love of what you want, the real reason for what it will achieve for you, whether that's joy, freedom, focus, success, that is what makes the thing actually real. If I wanted to see the flowers, but my energy was taken up by something scary, that even while I had the flowers around me, I wasn't able to enjoy them. Letting go of what you dislike, which is also part of this human experience, is the big key. Let me know if you'd like me to share what I've learned over the last three years as I have struggled to let things go, but I think, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. So if you'd like to, me to share more on that, please let me know. My name is Nandini. I've been absent for a while because I've been moving, but I'm back. Please subscribe to Figuring It Out Alive. I'd be really grateful if you do, if you would like to see more such videos. See you in the next one.